Come on, friends. We just want to hear a story. Yeah, it's like a story of time. We're gonna, we're gonna see about. Uh, crazy day, you know. Been a while since we all hung out and shit, but uh, life's been wild. Turb, twisty, turny, upside down, turvy, topsies for J Man, and shit's all types of change. And it's like basically a new beginning, but anyways, so life's starting over in a way, sort of crazy things. But today, we're just another day. A storm rolls in last night. You don't think nothing of it way up north where we're at. Come fucking, uh, just lots of rain. Lots and lots of rain. Almost like Forrest Gump, too, with the... Like when he's talking about Vietnam with the fucking shit coming. Big old fat rain, heavy rain, little rain, skinny, stinging rain. And sometimes rain come up from the ground, you know, sideways and such and this and that. But that's the kind of rain we had. And we're on our way to work. I'll say, uh, three of us homies riding on the way to the shop and thinking nothing of it then all of a sudden we get to our first detour we get to our first detour and then friends like i said you know it's a story time you don't need to see me you don't need to see me anyways and adjust the microphone cords back here you just need to hear mm-hmm i'm gonna see what the cord and then uh you have to uh so anyways, you have to realize there's, a, there's a, we're on our way to work and a detour for the tree down. Holy shit. And I was like, I got a little chainsaw in my truck, just a little top handle. But now power lines, ah, oh, fuck. Okay, we got to turn around. Then we go and we hit another one and another one. And like, dude, we got to go back. We got to get out of here. We're going way the F around here. We're going like into the next county if we need to, to get around this and go around and get to work. So an hour later, we're into work. And then bingo, what do you think? Like, oh, I, I just thought there was minimal stuff. No, I was wrong, friends. That's what we're going with this shit. Life sometimes hits you like a crack whore. T-bones you like a crack whore. And so uh, little did I know we were marching off to battle. It was no little storm. It came through in certain areas and made ruckus like you've never seen. Like God power fist came. He put his little, or I'm sorry, God put his mighty fist down from the heavens and kind of just swirled the shit around like it was a spoon, like a bowl of like, or like a, a hot cocoa, you know, mixing the marshmallows up. That's what happened to these trees everywhere. So everywhere we went on the way, we're just trying to get to this, this one job, man. We just want to get to the job, nigga. Motherfucker, that's all we want to do is get to the job. And so we're going, and all of a sudden, more detour. You wouldn't even know it. It was trees everywhere, power lines everywhere. It was chaos. We're then, uh, it looked like the people with the cars and the chaos turning around and driving all over the place. It looked like almost practically like people were driving all over each other like it was Black Friday or almost like with the gypsy moss. You guys ever watch the gypsy moss work a tree? There's no, I feel like it's just, it's cutthroat. Every man for himself with the gypsy moss. They're fucking up the tree. They're all they're like, is this a good tree? Let's go up to the top and see, you know, and I'm going to go see in the leaves. And there's all these other guys coming back down. Because this is probably a tree that they actually all fucking hate, like a maple. They don't really like the maples for some reason. They don't even touch. You would think they would love the maples. Juicy, beautiful, delicious. Like, I'd have a maple salad. Uh, but... The, the caterpillars, they don't like that shit. They like the oaks. Mm. And sometimes they'll even attack the pines, which is crazy. It's just rare. But, like, they'll even get after pines. Like, sometimes they're just like, I don't care. The beach, something about the beach, they'll go up the beach trees. They'll start nibbling a little bit. And they'll come back. But anyways, that's we're sidetracking here, friends. They're running over each other, though, on the way. Like, there's there's caterpillars going up the tree. Like, oh, I'm going to give me them leaves, dude. Look how many are left. I'm going to get them. And then there's the other ones. Like, dude, that shit's bullshit. What a junk-ass motherfucker. You think they could be like, dude, don't go up there, man. It's garbage. We got to go find an oak. It's junk. And then, no. Nope. Uh... What do they do? Just uh, everyone out from nope. I, I went all the way up there. Psh, man, that sucked. Wasted my time. You should waste your time too. And that's what these people were doing, anyways. It was chaos with the traffic running all over each other. It looked like freaking wild. And we make it to the job finally. And we do. What is it? With the crane, we pluck and uh, we finally make it. We were following the municipality workers as they were chipping brush and clearing the way. We finally made it into the town at Whitehall, Michigan. This is where most of this took place in Whitehall that I'm talking about currently. Uh, ru just ruckus, absolutely ruckus. Let me know in the comments if you're from Michigan, West Michigan, if there was more storm damage in our beautiful state. But, uh, anyways, uh, we're wandering, friends. Uh, what were we talking about? The traffic, we make it. Uh, we did what? Three jobs. Three of them plucking them off the houses. Good fucking juicy one in the middle, I think, too. Or was it the last one we did? Yeah, the last one we did was actually a pretty good one. No, no, no footage of any of the job. I got some. I'll, I'll try and throw whatever uh, 
photos the homies took today. Got to adjust the microphone cord real quick. All right, uh, you got job number three and all right, then boss man, you know, like his storm, motherfucker, the, the phone is ringing off. The, it's, yeah, it was all day too. He'd cut in on the, the helmet, like, yeah, hey, what uh, there's uh, going on there, guys, today? Oh, I missed it. Oh, no, hold on, I got it. They worried about like, oh, yeah, we were just saying. And then he's like, no, oh, fuck, got a phone call there. Kurt, sorry, cocksuckers, gotta go. And then, uh, yeah, so it's crazy. The, the phone is blowing up. There's a storm, boys. Did I say where it was? No, I didn't say where it was. I said it was in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That's where it was. So if you're looking cha storm chasers, Tuscaloosa, Alabama is where it was. Or was that Tuscan, Arizona? Something. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, uh, and then, uh, wow. And then you get to the point. The the end of the day. All right, one more. You know, that's where we're like, come on, man. One more, babies. Yep, that's going to bring us till dark. And we're going to get it. Let's ride, bros. We're going to... Uh, stop and get some food and then go attack this last job. Oak trees piled up on a structure. And um, the McDonald's was so packed. And uh, that was the closest thing. Fucking shitty McDonald's. Was like, yeah, let's just get McDonald's because it's going to be the easiest. And uh, bingo. We're in and out with traffic and stuff. But no, dude, there was like so many cars at this McDonald's. Whatever, dude. And, and anyways, we're getting uh, most of the way to our fourth job. We're going to stop at a different place for a quick snack. And then bingo, hit it till dark. You know, on this last uh, job, which most certainly would have went till dark, and uh, and hit it again tomorrow, which we will be. But uh, motherfucking uh, this crack hoe, she came. I ain't making it up. You, you can't. J Man never fucking lies. Well, except for the times he has in the past. The microphone cords uh, got always coming loose. But you got um, he's talked about uh. Anyways, he doesn't lie and uh, about these things and fucked up my day. And I think, dude, I hope I don't go viral if somebody recorded this because they probably saw me step out and like, go get the phone, Jamie. He's like, fucking, yo, get this shit, man. And uh, he gonna fucking, because uh, we uh, kind of like at first, uh, the lady, I could see her, she T-boned the side of me. She just missed a cab in this little car. I didn't even, I forget what it was. It was a Ford something, Fusion maybe or something. It was a smaller car. <clears throat> Fiat Festiva, actually, and, uh, whatever, who gives a shit, she fucking, uh, freaking, uh, she blows into me, dude, I got the green arrow, and I think I even, uh, I might have even, uh, been a little late to take off because I was, uh, letting the clutch out or whatever, I think I was a little bit hesitant after the fucking green, uh, we were turning left, the green arrow lit us up, both lanes, and, uh, bingo, I get going, and next thing you know, dude, slow motion out of the corner of my eye, I look down, and I see this gray, car just fucking i'm and it, like the only thing i could think of was like fucking uh uh the half a thought was basically like oh she's never or they're never gonna and it was basically like they're never gonna be able to stop in time or some shit like that i think is what like my went through my head because i just it was like a split second and my homies were riding behind me in the convoy like i said we were on the way in the tree trucks and uh they fucking both of them uh in the chipper truck behind me and the spider lift truck a couple cars back from that they both all saw me uh sean and eric um and then boss man was shortly behind motherfucking packing a heater ready to uh bust anybody down that had uh, anybody to say about because he didn't know he's, he heard that his baby was hurt and he was also concerned about his truck too so um no but uh, well nobody said i was hurt though right so you, who, i don't know who told you that microphone cord check one two um so wherever you got your information that's false advertising they get out and uh, start yelling at her, though, after I see she's moaning. Kind of the airbag went off, and actually she went under the truck, and it severed, I think we'll see in the, one of the pictures, it severed the uh, post. She got lucky, but anyways, right away she's like, oh, it, it triggers me, I guess, sometimes. And she's like, I got to get out of here. I hear her saying at first, I thought, like, oh, shit, okay, whoa, it's a woman, okay, are you okay? And then all of a sudden she's like, I get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. And then somehow it made me snap a little bit. Fucking go crazy when child. I'm like, bitch, you ain't going fucking. I don't even know what I said. I don't remember what I said. I fucking run off on her though because she's like getting out of the car, and we didn't know whether to like restrain her or not. Cause really, it's like you kind of want it. Cause and I'm like, she's like, nope, I gotta go. I can't go to jail. I can't. You could tell this bitch was high, lit up on something upper speedy Gonzalez shit, man. Especially probably hitting that. You could tell she was in pain. I think uh, they said that they saw her spit out some teeth on the sidewalk when she got out, and she was bleeding pretty bad. I didn't really see that because. Uh, like I said, I was pretty pissed off, I think. And then I guess she, we're basically almost chasing her, and I'm bitching at her. And I finally, I guess, ran out of steam. And I stopped and turned around just to see what the rest, like, what the fuck actually happened to the rest of the truck. Because I knew it was bad, but, oh, it was bad. And uh, A-Town was chasing her down a little bit, too. Kind of like, bitch, because I'm yelling at her across the road in front of everyone, like, 
like, bitch, you're fucking committing a felony. You ain't going nowhere. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, nope, I'm gone, but my son. I'm going to send my son back. And I'm like, yeah, right. You know, like, and I'm like, bitch, it's a fucking felony. Where the fuck? You better get your motherfucking ass. I yelled, I was like, you just fucked up my fucking day, dude. I just want to go home. When I, that's the first thing I said to her, I think, when I get out, when I saw that, she said, uh, I'm going to leave or whatever. I want to get out of here. I'm like, bitch, you just fucked up my, my day. You ain't going nowhere. And I just wanted to go home, motherfucking. We're going to rip this last job. All right, friends, if we're going to commit to this day in the story telling, we, gotta, uh, we can't leave out. We remembered some details. You got to remember, uh, we got some details. And uh, part of the story, you know, uh, freaking there was a panhandler, I guess. I wouldn't say, I wanted to say homeless guy. We, we kind of said it for bre- like brevity, for the sake of brevity, but... Um, a panhandler, let's say, friends, on the corner of this, uh, where this, uh, particular traffic accident happened. So he happened to witness it for the most part. Uh, he happened to be holding his sign up facing the oncomers that were getting off on the exit like we were. And, uh, he freaking, uh, he's like, yeah, I didn't see it happen until, uh, I didn't know it happened until pieces of glass and vinyl flew past my head. And then he turned around and he happened to see that that uh, person's light was still red and that I had the green. So anyway, so like we had one witness bingo right off the rip. And then all of a sudden there was like a handful of other people that started rolling up. Like this one dude in his truck with this old lady and shit and was like, dude, I seen that shit, the whole motherfucking thing. We uh, reported it. We called the, uh, whatever we called, we reported that shit. We saw the whole motherfucking thing. But he's like, anyways, I'm about to fucking dip. You know, he's like, my shit's straight, but I'm out of here. And you're like, yep, p- appreciate it. But anyway, yeah, people were like, yep, seen that shit. Wow, dude, crazy. And she's running away. I forgot if I forgot to, st- you know, stress that part enough in the first go around that this bitch fucking committed or whatever. They think it's a felony, you know, leaving the scene, especially of an accident like that. And, uh, as of uh, when we everything was all squared up and we left, uh, as of then we they the cops we asked them, they still hadn't got her because she was away on her foot. But her son do, I forgot that her son did actually show up. I was tripped out. I even told him too. You could tell fuck that's probably who she got the drugs from. Uh, you could tell he's over there like ah, that's my fucking car, you know, kind of thing. He had to come down, I guess. But I was like, dude, I can't. I, was, I told him, yelled to kind of across him. Uh, where he was standing over by the cops or whatever. I'm like, dude, up, I wouldn't even have fucking came. I didn't even, I was like, I thought that was a load of BS. I, like, I got to, man, it's my car, that shit. Uh, and then, uh, A-Town pipes up. Uh, Eric was like, fucking, like, dude, and the fucking plates expired. The bitch ain't even supposed to be on the fucking road. You know, it kind of pissed him off. And, uh, he's like, yeah, it wasn't. You know, he kind of, like, agreed, you know. Yep, fucking, he probably knew. He knew damn well his mama was taking his expired ass plate, having an ass car, and, uh, going to get the shit. Sure, so she either just did the shit or is going to get the shit. That's why she was hot and heavy and burned through that red light at 45 and fucking kerbopolied our fucking truck over. And that's the other part, too, is uh, so she ran off and uh, the sun just kind of bounced after. He was like, yep, it's kind of like, yeah, so I guess I'll wait for something in the mail, I guess. And uh, he pretended to not know where she was, and uh, that's wild. And then on the way back, they towed that truck, that 450, and the, which she hit the truck so hard it tweaked the wooden box, the chip box, and uh, and the tow truck people, poor poor bastards, uh, they were towing it, but the truck's facing backwards, you know, because uh, this, I forgot if I mentioned that too, it severed the drive ac- or the drive shaft, it severed the drive shaft away because she hit the fucking rear axle so hard, so it pushed the axle back. And so, you know, snapped the drive shaft, and uh, so that truck wasn't going nowhere, so they towed that bitch. And anyways, it's facing backwards with a tweaked wooden box that just got in a wreck, and so like half the box blew apart on the. Check it, homies, dude. Back at the shop. Back at the shop. The, the fucking uh, 450. Uh, the bitch. The bitch fucking hit the. Oops. Let me go this way. The bitch hit the fucking. Uh, the truck so hard that it fucking tweaked the box, so we we could see a noticeable gap. In that motherfucker, dude, and <laughs> the, mother- <laughs> the motherfucker fell apart on the damn, uh, on the way over with the tow truck because because the bitch was facing backwards, so it caught all that wind, dude, and <laughs> fucking <laughs> on the highway. And then they said some lady did a Dukes of Hazard fucking picture, picture me this, picture me rolling, the fucking, the plywood flies off on the highway, oh, fucking the lady, and then like fucking kerbink ramps, fucking, <laughs> we'll find out on next week's episode if old Suzanne made it guys poor bastards on the way so here they come we're wondering like why are they coming back uh we had them bring the truck uh, which is probably totaled we had them bring the truck back to the shop and why are they coming in with a second one of the flatbed that's because that had the plywood strapped down on the motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah thank you shout out to them
Yeah, it's sometimes the wives, the old wives and ladies of the old ladies of the tree, the pea tree peeps, they don't know what we go through. Some of the shit that we go, everything, you know, it's like there's a lot of, you know, death can happen every day to everyone, you know. You could leave, uh, you could have a heart attack leaving, it doesn't matter what you are, mailman, whatever, bagging groceries, you know, you could almost argue that for every occupation, but the thing is, the tree, the tree life is, there's something about it, the motherfuckers that get tree fever, and they get, tre- and the, so the tree lifers are kind of fucking crazy, and uh, they're old ladies, I guess, might must be a little bit too or something, but they uh, or if they ain't, they just don't know, they just don't, they'll never understand, unless they fucking are a part of it, I guess, the wild rowdy shit. The sea of devastation that we saw too with the trees, that's gonna keep us busy, we're gonna be busy for a while, friends, wow, there's a lot of, a lot down in a small area i'm i'm estimating i don't know how long the work itself the ma- the majority usually with the storms and they hit you know the work it gets every all the tree services come out of the woodwork so they take care of all the shit on structures pretty relatively quickly you know hot and heavy they hit it and so the structure stuff is kind of done but the cleanup you know that lasts good another couple few weeks depending this one's going to be this project here is so big i think it's i mean they're gonna there's people gonna be dealing with the wreckage of this shit like till into next year probably already you know like it's as bad as it is the people that gotta like practically rebuild their whole house you know they're gonna be dealing with this shit a long while all right that about it. Hopefully that will see out some of the extra details we missed. And uh, we'll slip them in there. And uh, bingo. Yep. So like, let, sometimes life will throw you lemons. And people can make lemonade. And other times you have a good day. A good chaotic wild fucking day. You know. It makes you feel alive. It's good. It's good for you too. Builds character. So isn't that fun guys? I hope I hope you guys could picture it. You were there with me for a little bit. And then it's like you guys. We had a, we had a busy day didn't we? Well whenever it is you see us. Anyways. Get the homies to send me the pictures from the day, you know? Alrighty. I guess I just, you'll see me whenever the fuck.